How is heart failure treated? Heart failure is a serious condition, but starting treatment early offers the best chance for a longer and improved quality of life. Treatment is aimed at controlling the symptoms and treating the underlying cause of the heart failure. This can include coronary heart disease, high blood pressure, valvular heart disease, heart rhythm disturbances, anemia, and thyroid or kidney disorders. As there are many different causes of heart failure, treatment will differ from one patient to another. In the majority of patients, the cause of their heart failure is damage to the heart muscle. Although there is no cure for this at present, the outlook for patients with heart failure has improved significantly in recent years as a result of advances in treatment. Symptoms can be improved by lifestyle modification, such as diet, in particular salt and water restriction, and weight loss. Regular exercise, stopping smoking, rest and relaxation. Medication, including diuretics, commonly known as water tablets, which help the body to lose salt and water through the kidneys and so reduce the heart's workload. Angiotensin, converting enzyme inhibitors, known as ACE inhibitors, which act by dilating blood vessels in the body. By doing so, they reduce the heart's workload each time it pumps blood into the circulation. Unfortunately, not all patients are suitable for or able to tolerate ACE inhibitors. Digoxin can be useful in patients with an irregular heartbeat to control the speed of the heart. Beta blockers slow the speed and force of the heartbeat, thus reducing the work the heart has to do. They were previously thought to be unsuitable for patients with heart failure, but recent research shows they can be of great benefit. Their introduction requires careful supervision. Pacemakers. These may be needed in a small minority of patients whose heart failure is due to either a slow heartbeat or abnormal patterns of electrical conduction. The symptoms of heart failure may not always be controlled with medication. If the heart failure is due to coronary heart or valvular heart disease, then coronary artery bypass surgery or valve surgery may need to be considered. In a very small percentage of carefully selected patients, consideration of heart transplantation may be necessary. Unfortunately, this is not suitable for everyone, and the number of transplants that can be performed is severely limited by the number of donors.